Steve, well done tonight. That was a terrific team performance, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, took it on from Saturday, second half. Um, and the boys thoroughly deserved their victory. I thought, I thought they were professional towards the end when we was defending and clearing our lines, holding it in the corner when we had to. Um, but all in all, everybody put a shift in. Um, tough place. They haven't lost at home this season. That's their first one. Um, but I reminded the boys, I've looked at our, our away games uh, in the league and we haven't, we, haven't lost, we, haven't, we haven't lost this season. Some very good game management, wasn't there, towards the end? Yes, mate, yeah. yeah, And, that, and that's what it's about. And that's, that's what you've got to do at times, do you know what I mean? So, um, other teams do it to us and we get frustrated. And I thought today we've done it to them. And I think the boys thoroughly deserved their win because they threw everything at us and they end up sticking four, four people up front and stuff like that. We dealt with it. And, um, at times we could have had a little bit more quality on the ball, but I can't be harsh on them, Jim. I thought they worked ever so hard. We got the goal we deserved. Um, Yeah, you almost thought in the first half we hit, we did have a number of chances. Their keeper did well, and you're kind of thinking, has our, has our chance gone? But we stuck at it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And I think Johnny's made one save again tonight, which was a free kick. I don't recall him making, and probably a punch. I don't really recall him being brought into to action too much. I thought Liam Smith played well beyond his years tonight. I thought he was magnificent, as well as Craig Stone, Sonny, and Jack Parker. And field done well, and the front boys worked hard up, up top to stop them coming, coming for us. Absolutely, and you stuck with the formation that you kind of finished with at Leatherhead with Tom Jelly in midfield, seemed to work well. Yeah, like I say, I didn't, didn't see any reason to change it, you know, we've obviously got George Bevan's not about, um, so Stoney's stopped, dropped back into centre half, which he does very well, and uh, like I say, I'm pleased for them back five to keep a clean sheet, but also for the boys up front to get that goal. Definitely, and can I ask you about George Bevan? Yes, he went to the hospital on the doctor's back on Monday. They sent him to the hospital to have x-ray on his uh, chest and lungs. Um, and like I say, health's more important than anything else, Jim. And the uh, thing with it, they've got to wait a few days to get the results. But um, I went through a situation where I wasn't well and I had a few tests and stuff. And it didn't work out too good for me. I was out of football for a little bit. So I want to make sure that he's right and not playing with any illness. Um, and we'll just get that results back in a few days and see how he is. But Helps more important for football. Definitely. And Sam, having Sam back made a big difference as well, didn't it? Yes, Dan Bennett's done very, very well. Um, and it's, it's no nothing on him, no no reflection on how he's played. I just felt tonight if we get Sam Bantic on, you know, he showed in the first half, he went on the outside of the player two or three times and got crosses in. Disappointed he hasn't scored. Um, but it's a squad thing. Uh, spoke to Tashi as well when I thought he'd done very well when he came on, on Saturday. Perhaps he thought he might have started tonight. I stuck with the other two and, and they worked hard. They scored their goal, Alex did. Tashi come on and I think he's got, got the understanding now that if he shows me what he can do when he comes on in training, he'll get his opportunity. And, uh, like Liam is, and like I say, it's, it's one of those. It's a squad game. It's not an individual. It's a team. And like I say, we're, we're very happy with the results. And we've got another tough one at least on Saturday. And, uh, and he's, uh, Tony, their, their team up there is very hard to beat. Don't do very well up there, but we'll go with a bit of confidence now, you know, because we've got a win under our belt away from home again. Um, we're under no illusions how hard it's going to be, but if we put in the same application and performance, I'll be pleased with that, regardless of whatever result we get. Definitely. Well, I won't keep you standing here any longer. It's absolutely freezing cold here, but thanks very much, Steve. Well done to the boys. Terrific performance tonight.